Do you wanna grow faster on YouTube? Then this video is for you. Today we're gonna to be doing a channel breakdown of Caleb Pike's YouTube channel, DSLR Video Shooter. And we're gonna talk about some of the changes that Caleb is making to his YouTube channel to speed up growth. And just maybe some of these things can be applied to your YouTube channel to get the same results. Hey everyone, I'm Connor Wagner and this is Video Strategy To Go, where I give you quick video tips and tricks in less than three minutes so you spend less time watching and more time creating. Let's first dive into Caleb's video format. Caleb has really done a great job over the past few years building a lot of trust around his brand and his YouTube channel. And the way that Caleb has been able to grow his audience over time is by providing them one video a week and then one live stream a week. So as you can tell, there's two different formats here. After diving into his YouTube analytics, what I found was there was a huge click-through rate and viewership difference between his regular video format and his live stream format. So much so where his videos were getting five times the amount of views than his live streams. So Caleb at the end of 2018 made the right choice in going from weekly live streams to only doing one live stream a month. So you can see in this chart here that by producing 46% less content, his viewership in the first quarter of 2019 was up 26%. How is that possible? Well, 50% of his content is no longer in the live stream format that his audience didn't prefer to watch him in. So naturally, his click-through rate averages have skyrocketed and brought more exposure to his YouTube channel. Now that we've talked about the format, let's talk about another reason why viewers watch your content. And the reason they watch your content is because of you. So naturally, when you have your video thumbnails, you need to have your face on your thumbnails. You can see the side-by-side -side comparison of when Caleb includes his face on his thumbnails and when he doesn't, and you can see a huge viewership discrepancy between these two columns. Basically, on average, Caleb gets four times the viewership if he just includes his face on his thumbnails. And it doesn't matter how big your channel is, always remember that one of the selling points that gets people to click on your video content is you, the creator. So make sure your face is on the thumbnails to get those click-through rates up on your video content. And lastly, one of the main reasons why people return to your YouTube channel is for your valuable content. So I encourage Caleb to start posting past video content in his community tab more often. This is a great way to mimic daily uploading and bring exposure to your past video content that your new viewers may not have seen yet. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I wanna thank Caleb for sitting down with me and going over his YouTube channel. Please leave your comments and questions below. Check out this next video about the three main reasons why people subscribe to your YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.